Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Super Mario Bros. 3, aka Super Mario Advance 4 for the Nintendo GBA. Choose a game, here we go. This one actually has a save file though. You know, save feature. World 1. Dun 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 dun. World 1 1. Let's go, it's a Mia Mario. Oh yeah, no save states. Took me forever to get this to actually work. Apparently there's like a huge issue with this game on uh, emulation and stuff, and just in general, uh, recording games that have e-reader functions are annoying. Darn it! Shoot. Forgot that, um, Koopas are different in this, you don't actually pick up their shell. So we gotta go back here and hope that he, get, he comes back. All right, now you can. I don't know why I didn't pick it up in the first place. Now I can just run and then do this. Apparently there's... Oh, there is something up there. Oh, there it is. So it tells us to go up here. Woohoo! Raccoon Mario. Actually, I believe it's Tanuki Mario. No, no, it's not Tanuki Mario. It's Raccoon Mario. I was right. I believe we can just shortcut ourselves to the end of the level. Oh no! Oh god, we almost died there. Mm, nothing there. I believe if you run into it, you'll get the star, which gives you the most lives at the end of the, you know, collecting three. So you have to beat three levels. Mm, there's a hammer bro down there. Anyways, let's do level two. Uh, can't really fly here due to the fact that. Excuse me, it seems to, you know, prevent you from running when you go uphill. Oh yeah, now this part. You, darn it, you want to hit that P-switch and come up here into this pipe. There. And I believe if you have... Oh, I love the bonus music in here. I believe you can just do this. You can gather the coins if you want, but we're not going to bother with all of them. Really like that bonus music, though. And now we're back here. Hey, we could actually fly. And just got to be careful with that. Oh, if you guys also want to see Super Mario World ROM hacks, let me know. And, oh, there's another leaf there. Actually, this might just be Tail Mario. I'm not quite sure what they're called. I like what this power-up is called. No! How did I manage to fall down the one little crack? That's stupid, man. Let's go. And I'll also try and figure out the save feature. I believe it's a start. I, I think. I hope it's a start. I really hate games that the save option isn't automatic. Or Actually, I don't mind if the save option isn't automatic. Uh, the save feature isn't automatic, but... Um... I just really like when you can control it yourself. It's funny how, like, the paragoombas in this are red. And not brown! Ugh. Oh, come on! Because I hit the music note. Okay, apparently sliding down the hill did not work. I apologize for this fail attempt at the, one of the easiest levels in the game. It just... This controller, like I said in previous Let's Plays, is just really oversensitive. Like, if I was playing on a legitimate Game Boy that had a D-pad, everything would be a lot smoother. It just... It likes to react way too much to sleight of hand. 
Yes, the whole run feature, or the whole full run there is gonna help me a lot, right? Come on, I wanna get the feather. I wanna get the, I wanna get the thank you. I don't know what the game was doing there, but. Boom. I can't kill the pea plant in there. Oh yeah, I thought there was like something in there, but maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's that one. Now we can just mow over enemies. That was really a useless invincibility, by the way. There wasn't really much you could use with it. This will probably get copyrighted, yeah, because of the music, but I'll play it anyway. We need to get big. Level 3. I wonder if this is an athletic level. No, it's like the first level. Oh yeah, apparently... No! I shall not fall! Apparently I fell. Boomerang bro! Ugh, scary. Hey, how come you didn't pick that one up, Mario? You picked the last one up. Wait, hang on. Gotta do my whole run into it. Gotta get me a star. There we go! And this is what happens when you get a star. Level 3 was a joke. Five up. We're now at nine lives, because I lost two, apparently. <laughs> and we can go to the Mushroom House to get extra power-ups, and the save feature is there. Sweet. I'll have to double-check it works after this episode. And pick a box. We got... I have to attack it. We got a feather for our journey. Yeah, you can carry items to help you progress through the game. And let's hit level four. I think this is the athletic level. Oh, no, never mind. It's athletic slash auto-scroll. Uh, oh, that's that's lovely. Everything falls in this game. This is actually my favorite of the three original Super Mario Bro games. My favorite is obviously like the newer ones, like Super Mario 3D Land. Love that freaking game. Want to get it eventually, but I'm saving up for Sun and Moon. Don't know why I can't hit that. I'm gonna hit this one. I could hit that one. Bah! I wonder what this is. Oh, 1-Up! Hey, I like how the 1-Up just goes... And this is going to be an easy game to 100%, uh, to so I'm going to do every level. See, I can hit it now. Man, I wish this game had save states, but alas, it does not. I believe this is the ending of level right here. Lucky! Now let's try and... Darn, we got a mushroom. Eh, oh well. Sweet! Oh, we got the matching game next. And then we got the fortress. Line up the pick... Okay, apparently. Okay, we got the mushroom. So literally, I think click it on... Darn it. Seriously, I got the top and bottom. What a fail. Anyways, let's do World 1's Fortress. I believe this also unlocks that gate. So you can take the shortcut, though I really don't see the whole point of a shortcut. Oh yeah! What's his name? Boomer? Is it is it Boomer is the mini bosses in this game? Hey, waffles! The atomic waffles, which is what everyone calls them, but... Oh, Potobos are in this too, go figure. Okay, you literally just give me a fire flower to make it useless, and apparently you can't kill them in this game. Oh, so instead of having, like, beams that crush you, or, like, the hammer crusher thingies in Super Mario World, this game originally had, um, spike ceiling. So you don't even need to crouch. Literally just stand up straight. There you go. And are we already at the boss? I believe we are. See, a lot of these levels aren't that long. The final world in this game, though, is annoying. I don't remember if there's a special world. I don't think there is. Die, boomer. Ah, I failed there. And there we go. Level complete. Epic, let's have a sip of Pepsi. I gotta train more Pokemon after I've been recording today. Ooh! Sure, I'll save my progress. There's a random card game that appears here. I believe this is like match the cards. Yeah, 
So we got Mushroom and a Star. We got a 1-up and 20 coins. The only issue is, though, it's really hard to get the first ones matched. And level 5 looks like it's in a cave, I'm assuming. I wonder if we have cave music. Ah, we do. Woo! Epic! I wonder if I can kill piranha plants. It really doesn't seem like I can. Oh, red music note block. You know what that means, guys. Coin heaven! Mario jumps awkwardly high in this. Though I know it's to make up that Luigi is supposed to have the high jump if you're playing multiplayer. But, I don't know. I like this whole feature. The coins are worth 50 points, by the way. For those who wonder. Oh, yeah, and A is to jump and you hold down B to run. Seriously, about all you can do. Back to the cave world. Bum, 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 bum. Nothing there. Oh, God, no, don't slide into a piranha plant. I wonder if there's anything in your pipe. Nope. And is that seriously the end of the level? Just up through this pipe? Yep. Oh, I got a flower. What, am I going to get a star next? Probably. Probably. Eh, level six. By the creek. I wonder if it has water. Nope, it's just a basic athletic level. Funny that you get a basic athletic level before you get a... Or, I mean, after you get an auto-scroll athletic level. I think that one's also harder than this one. At least I think it is. Not quite sure. I guess this one has these these wood platforms that move. The other one had ones that sunk, though. Well, they sank. Oh, these ones don't sink. Okay, I was scared that they were gonna sink. The other ones did. And I got a star! That's funny. I got one of each. I don't think you get anything, though. I th no, never mind. You get one life. Probably because I got three different ones. Oh, I gotta fight the hammer, bro. It's like a mini boss type guy throughout the world. Oh, come on, hammer, bro! You meanie. And we got a free star power up. Just what I needed. And we got a mushroom house to get another extra power. We haven't seen all the power ups though, and we got a fire flower for our collection. The worst power up you can get is a mushroom. And let's go to the castle. Ow! It's terrible! The king has been transformed! Please find the magic wand so we can change him back! Okay, and every castle is actually a skyship level. Dun! Oh, look, slow cannonballs. I am so scared. They're shooting into the sky. Bullet bills that shoot really slowly. I am so scared. Who owns this castle? I really don't know who it actually is. Iggy? Probably Iggy, right? Oh, I almost got hit there by jumping into that. I never really got to kill anything with a fire flower last time before it disappeared. So give it to me in the castle. Though, I think there is this, a cheat with Boomer they can do. And... Darn it! Ah, oh, let me guess, the boss is right here. Yeah, of course. Is that Iggy? Ah! And there we go, three hits, and they're defeated. Scepter get. Yay! Boom. Now we fall back down with the scepter. We transform every king of the Mushroom Kingdom worlds back into humans. Ow! Oh. oh, splendid, splendid! I am back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. Sweet. Thanks, king dude. Greetings. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will always chase you if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you, Princess Toadstool. It's actually a P-Wing, not even a jewel. Perfect. Clear. Yes. World 1 is done. 
beautiful. So, anyways, in the next episode, we're going to be going to the obligatory desert level, or desert world and shit, that seems to be in every Mario game, every Mario hack, every Mar thing with Mario in general. Even freaking Mario Galaxy had him, Super Mario Sunshine, you know. See you guys next time. Awesome.